Hey guys, make sure to send your DNT if you make one common mistake you may end up spending thousands of dollars on tools, parts and diagnostic that you may actually not even need. Hey guys, welcome back to <coughs> How to Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW X3 X4, that generation here from year 2010 to year 2018. If you have a problem guys where you have uh, dead battery after not driving the vehicle for a day, two or three and you wonder what causes that guys, how to fix it. It could be simple fix, some people will spend thousands of dollars in diagnostics, replacing parts, engine computers, when it could be something that 9 out of 10 people will not suspect. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is that we see quite often in the garage, we'll explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why guys, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, please make sure you stand till the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, fuses, uh, bodywork, a little bit of everything. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. And guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time we're going to put links in the description of the video below for your convenience check it out that way do not waste your money guys also we will have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels check them out guys we'll have videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs as well so let's start on it now so guys this bmw has many hidden fuse boxes that most people do not know that they even exist you have up to five or six different fuse boxes and for many of you okay some of those are special fuse boxes kind of like this one here if you don't know about them guys we'll recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on bmw x3 x4 check it out it can save you thousands of dollars in repairs so if you guys have dead battery when the vehicle is not being driven for a few days, what do you need to check guys? Multiple things, but first what we're gonna start, we need to open the trunk. When you open the trunk, on the side here you have that cover when you remove it and leave that insulation up, that's the main fuse box. But here guys, if you leave that carpet liner up, remove the tray underneath, you will get to the car battery. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays. Fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not. For instance, I'm going to pull one fuse here, okay, and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good, they're bad. And let's say you think you have a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up having problems again and you spend time, money, you buy parts, diagnostics, you pay for services that you don't need guys, you practically wasted your money. So all you have to do waste, uh, ch ch check your fuses that way you don't waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it, it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well what do you guys want to do now okay the first thing will be to get your tester okay battery tester and you want to test your battery why because if you have a weak battery okay the funny things about those modern vehicles is they have like 40 50 different modules and computers that can cause quite a bit of drain on the battery and if you have a weak battery uh, they can start self-discharging themselves so if the battery is old okay like this one is 2019 it's about to go guys that can easily happen we just replaced the battery out of a bmw x4 that was from 2014 and it lasted 10 years original battery but it's in a warm climate too another thing check your battery sensor make sure it's good now guys something that we see often that most people ignore you see that's your alternator right here the alternator guys is driven by the serpentine belt and it charges the battery. You're, you start your vehicle, you jump start it if it's dead, 
it charges the battery, everything works perfectly fine. But sometimes if you notice, sometimes you may notice like lights a little flickering a little bit. Uh, sometimes you may not even notice that at all. On the back side you have here uh, one, two, three, four, five, six diodes. These diodes, what they do, they uh, convert the electricity practically from AC to DC, guys. And it's one directional process. From here, from the alternator, it goes to the big cable to the car battery, right? Okay, right there. So now, guys, okay, uh, if one of those diodes is bad, Okay, when it's good, it's not supposed to let electricity flow back from the car battery back to the alternator. If one of those goes bad, what can easily happen at that point? When you stop the vehicle, the moment you stop it, the battery current flows back to the alternator. And when you park your vehicle, when you don't drive it, it discharges it, guys. And that causes the battery to drain. You have battery drain, dead battery, guys. So test your alternator diodes. We'll have videos on our channels how to test alternator diode. It's not very complicated and you'll be able to find out if that's uh, what's causing your problem. Another test that you can conclude is you can disconnect the positive cable from the alternator and see if it's going to discharge it as well. Uh, but always test it to make sure guys. Hopefully, okay, it will be easy fix for you as well. So guys, if you need to buy uh, parts, tools, fuses, relays for your BMW with a good price, quick shipping, guys. We're going to put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them from because we have very specific fuses, especially these little fuse boxes, guys. Those could be really hard to find. You can see like the one right here as well, guys. And we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping as well. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.